We shall start with Mr. Anna Rechali, the Vice President. They're passing it on to each other. So we shall begin from the right hand side. Uh, Bigger tools are smaller. Okay. Where is the mic? Any mic? They're all set up, sir. So we shall begin with you, Mr. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the press corps, uh, local and overseas, uh, local and international. It's a great evening tonight. Great to be here at uh, Eli Hotel, the uh, venue of the uh, Social Democratic Liberal Party uh, of Fiji's uh, meetings over the last few days. Well, they had been uh, contemplating the future of the country and what role they may have to play. Today they concluded their meetings and invited uh, the party that I lead the People's Alliance Party, as well as uh, the Fiji First Party, to come and make presentations to them and consider uh, areas of commonality in, uh, in our views about uh, the new government that uh, we could be forming. Today they finalized their decision to come along with the National Federation Party and uh, People's Alliance Party Coalition. And I'd like to thank them very much for giving us this honor of forming. <laughs> forming the next government of Fiji. A government we hope will bring the change that people had called out for over the, uh, had been calling out for over the last few years. It's going to be an onerous task it will not be easy, as it was never easy to try and dislodge an incumbent government. We have done that collectively, and I'd like to uh, thank uh, our coalition partners now. Uh, and as uh, Tukini has mentioned, uh, we're sending a message up to government house or state house, to His Excellency the President, informing him that we now have a workable coalition to run the government of Fiji over the next four years. <laughs> we thank the people of Fiji. We thank the, uh, the Electoral Commission, although we have some uh, difficulties with them at the beginning, and the Supervisor of Election and his management team, we thank them all. It's always a thankless task. And uh, they had expected opposition and complaints from us, and they got it. We didn't disappoint them. <laughs> but uh, now that it's all over, I'm sure we can all turn our back on that, work together, form the government, and tell the people of Fiji they can have a very Merry Christmas. It's going to be a <laughs> While they're having, having a happy new year, remember, those of us who are coming in now to run this government will be doing a lot of work over the Christmas and New Year break. And now we live. I'd like to uh, add with confidence that the coalition partners are up to it. And even if we uh, do not celebrate so much, we are up to the work that's before us. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and congratulations, team. Now, whatever. I'd like to uh, have a word from the uh, leader of the National Federation Party. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> th thank you very much, um, members of the media and uh, all our friends uh, from uh, the three uh, parties uh, present here today. For me and for the National Federation Party, the People's Alliance under Mr. Sidiveni Rambuka, and indeed the Social Democratic Liberal Party, Sudelpa, were natural partners. And I'm very, very pleased because I've worked with the former leader of Sudelpa uh, in Parliament uh, for the last eight years, and I want to take this opportunity to thank the esteemed Ro Temuru <coughs> Kepa uh, for her yeah. leadership. 
and for the guidance and support uh, that she provided me uh, as a first time member of parliament uh, when I joined uh, politics in 2014. <coughs> as Mr. Rambuka said, uh, the incoming prime minister, this uh, change was never going to be easy. We mounted a very spirited campaign. We, we, we provided the people of this country an opportunity to look for a new government. And today I am absolutely thrilled and pleased that we've been able to come together and we are now ready to form the next new government for Fiji. I know that the expectations from our people, and I want to thank the people of this country for their support, for their expectations of what should change in this country. And I know that those expectations are very high. And we, the leaders of the <coughs> three parties, the coalition partners, we understand the enormity of those expectations and the work that lay ahead for us. But I can assure the people of Fiji and all our supporters and all our international partners and all those who are looking at the new government and all the expectations that they have, that we have a very good team, a group of committed, hard-working, highly qualified, experienced people across the three parties that will make the best government that the people will be proud of. Yeah. We know that we are expected to change the style of governance, the style of running a government itself, and people expect us to do that. And we know that we have a responsibility amongst the three of us to give to the people of Fiji what they've been expecting from us. So I want to take this opportunity to thank our partners, especially Sodelpa and everyone in that party for having the confidence in the leadership of Mr. Siti Beni Rambuka as our next Prime Minister to lead this country for the next four years. And I can assure our partners that we will together run a government that the people of this country deserve. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, uh, earlier on, uh, I know we had uh, uh, the announcement that was just made three floors down after a very, very, um, a very, very interesting few <laughs> Interesting. One hour or so that we were deliberating here. Um, we felt the entire weight of uh, the nation's shoulder, on yes. our shoulders, the weight of the nation. Yes. And I must inform you that uh, to come to this point, um, it has been a very challenging, difficulty, uh, difficult, and uh, and a very momentous occasion for each and every one of the members of our board. It's and we congratulate you. Thank you. I thank you very much for this opportunity and uh, we feel that it is best that uh, we uh, give a few minutes to our uh, Vice President of the uh, Sodelpa Party to say a few words on our behalf. Okay. Mr. Naria Chan. Uh. <laughs> to Vice President here, <coughs> my colleague is on my right side and I'm uh, grateful that uh, he is here to 
be in support of the occasion tonight. Uh, the few days ago, it had not been an issue for the party. It's been very tough. Uh, we have been moving around trying to get the party to reach a consensus, a decision on uh, which party to partner with, uh, reach a con uh, coalition with, uh, to govern the Fiji government the next four, four years. We thought it was a, a task to, to enjoy, but it turned out to be a most difficult task that I ever been uh, tasked with to do. I've been involved in uh, trade union negotiations in the past, but this one is the worst. Habit, not worst. We thought that uh, the kingmaker position was going to be easy, but it's not been the one. As I said before, our decision was the most critical one for Fiji yeah, at yeah. this moment. Naka. But uh, we thank the uh, the People's Alliance Party and the National Federation Party for their interest to partner with us to move the country forward in the, in the, into the future. Uh, we felt that the choice that we did today was the right one, although there was a division amongst the members Naka. of the board but it's a democratic process that we will follow. But I hope that we will work and uh, we agree to things in a mutual way. Naka. I hope you are only the small party in this coalition. No. You are your nature. brothers, and I think your role is uh, big brothers to look after us. Naka. Eh? Naka. Naka. So I would suggest that uh, the uh, former party leader of the party, uh, that does make it louder. It does make it louder. It does make it louder. I think I'll sit in the book. Our next uh, Prime Minister. Naka. He said what we wanted to say and also Honorable Bimar Prasad and Anare Chani. I just want to congratulate uh, both uh, party leaders for their role in the whole exercise, which uh, Anare Chale, our vice president, has said, not was not easy. It was very, very difficult. It was a 72-hour long marathon, which we had to sit through to ensure that we made the right decision. And through God's grace, yeah. and people praying for us in the country and also overseas, we were able to reach that decision today. So I want to congratulate our partners, uh, <coughs> People's Alliance Party and NFP, National Federation Party. And I want to reiterate what our Vice President has uh, said. We are the smaller, smallest of the three uh, in the coalition uh, partner, and I hope that you will look after us. <laughs> You're not going to bully us <laughs> because we can be bullies too. <laughs> you know, we have the small bullies too. So I congratulate you. And the way ahead is not going to be easy. So we just ask you for your prayers and your support that we forge through ahead and bring what the country really has been praying for for the last 16 years. Thank you very much, uh, members of the media. Thank you very much for coming in tonight. We're now going to be taking our document over to His Excellency, the President, and uh, the rest of the negotiations. We will be handling the data and will inform you in due course. But that is all. Thank you for coming. I will have uh, an opportunity uh, for the leaders to uh, stand up and shake hands with the MOU in their hands.